Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run. Damn right, we're trying to beat the legendary Iron Man with rookies only. And it has been a bloody conflict so far. Uh, lots and lots and lots of injuries, death, kills, blood, gore. And it is just going to get worse and worse. Operation Sleeping Engine It's another Haven Assault. And we're about to maybe lose our only expansion that we do have uh, into the southern American or south southern part of North America. And we need to sh uh, definitely try to work against it. I've put uh, Shinrod and Axe who have a good chemistry together, Aaron and Jeranks who also have a good chemistry. So we're throwing in the best of the best, quote unquote, as uh, <laughs> we're putting in four rookies. Again, no weapon, uh, fewer weapon upgrades, no armor upgrades, nothing. And uh, we got one flashbang that must be enough in order to go through the mission. It's very likely that we're going to run into the Chosen again. And if that happens, we're just going to evacuate because, frankly, we're currently not in the shape uh, to fight against him. And guess what is happening? We're landing on apparently on a rooftop which in itself is already fantastic. High ground always is good. 19 soldiers and we got some resistance operatives. Perfect. That's what we needed. It's the easier version of uh, uh, the easier version uh, of the terror missions or retaliation missions as they're called here. Well, hello there. I think this is a job for a Aaron. Oh, come on. We can hit the Viper, can we? Please, do not tell me that we're just barely out of... We're not. Okay, fantastic. Because this here will reduce the cover. Sort of. Um, as any further hit might explode her. Let's hit the purifier. Alright, let's not do that. We're overwatching and we got a 50 50. I'll take that. Viper is likely going to go for the civilians. Unfortunately, took down, I think, one of the resistance operatives. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. We're trying to take those bastards down, but it is not easy if every overwatch shot is missing. Vipers are a pain in the rear. Now, let's see what the resistance fighters can do for us. Nice, nice, nice. That's a good start. Good job. Appreciate it. There we go, fantastic. I think the Viper is burning. At least I would assume that that is it. We got... We got uh, the purifier right down here, so explosion would take out uh, the way to get back up. Viper is dead because it is burning. So this is actually a safe spot for now. Aaron aggressively moves in, flanks this guy and downs him. Like someone would down a soft drink. Could theoretically hit, but I believe we rather were better off 
by flanking and then taking shots from there. Drinks moves in. Come on, seventy percent. Fortunately, they dodged. Oh, that's unfortunate. Fifty percent. Forty-five percent. Okay. Well, I mean, the one thing that we could do. Can't kill the viper yet. It's not a bad chance of hitting it. Still high cover, but it's a good chance of hitting it. On the other hand, a 50-50 to immediately kill the trooper. I think I'm going to take that. Just taking enemies off the field sometimes is, is more important. Reloading and overwatch. Fortunately, overwatch misses yet again. Double move. That's sneaky. Keep it going. Good, so let's just assume for a second we can move to here. Take the loot. Larum core isn't bad. It's a start. And take a 50 50. Decent, decent shot. Moving to here, I'm a bit afraid uh, more of uh, the amount of ammunition that we have left over. But we just saved four civilians, which is good. The real problem will happen a bit later, down there. Double move. And double move. Okay, so far so good. We're making progress. Slow and steady. Gotta reload. And we gotta deal with these guys here sooner or later. Okay, Shinrod moves up. Aaron moves up. Drenks moves up. Good. Reloading whenever needed. Shinrod overwatches. And that's the best we can do. We got a little bit low ammunition on one of our operatives, but Red seems to be fine. I think that was one of the resistance fighters. All right, resistance fighters start to fight back, which is good. Please focus your fire for once, guys. And don't stand in the open like complete and utter beginners. Okay, that was a good one. That was an excellent one. Good job. Damn it, they just found uh, their rhythm. Right when I was criticizing them. It 
it's difficult. I would love to take the high ground here, but it's uh, it's unfortunately too far away. I think it's a trap. Moving out. Moving over. Okay. Fully moving in. And Aaron reloads and X reloads as well. Good job so far, guys. We're getting closer. Almost are in range of uh, the stun lancers. I think we should potentially trigger that pack first. Alright, they are definitely on fire. Can I exchange my rookies for a couple of these guys? Please? Okay, so just out of curiosity... How could, how could we... Let's see if it would trigger. Roger that. No, it won't. Okay, cool. Which sort of means this here should not trigger as well. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, that definitely was a fantastic shot. Forty-eight percent. I don't know. That does not sound like a great, um, like great odds to me. Let's see what Aaron is going to do about it. Full cover. But certainly, I mean, just one point, uh, just one hit would kill them. So I don't want to waste a grenade if I can't see them. 50-50 again. Okay. Overwatching, which hopefully will get rid of him. Okay, he did not kill him. He's just disoriented. Well, he might pay f uh, pay for this treachery with his life because now it's uh, the resistance fighters turn and these guys are badass uh, Well, not when they move and then reload Careful buddy, this might explode Okay, you move into a position where everybody has put no you actually move into a quite decent position I'm, I take everything back. That was good. Good, so that would be a kill, but it would also kill a civilian. However, that civilian could be a faceless one. Who knows? Moving over. I'll take the risk. Alright, it was not a faceless one, I'm sorry. I truly am. Moving up. Oh, 
opening. Good job, Drenks. X is going to be our sniper here. And X does what the sniper does. Nice little hit. Love it. Take high ground here. There's one more enemy over there. Other than that, we're looking at at uh, faceless ones. On the other hand, I could also... Ah, this guy, this is burning. I want the high ground so bad. I don't want to be unreasonable. Alright, moving back might look like a strange turn, but having a second high ground really helps out with the aim. And currently, we've opened a lot of this here. Hell yeah! Wow, that was good. Oh, okay, there's another stun lancer. So these guys are peppering them! Holy moly! Like, they, they down two stun lancers right there. Full cover. Jeranks moves into half cover. Reload, Overwatch, reload, Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Okay, hey, we're good. Resistance fighters are just going to town with them. Last mission, almost unwinnable. This mission, getting carried by the resistance fire. I think that was the last one, yeah. And the resistance fighters are not giving a shit. They just reload and continue their onslaught. has been a longer time since I've seen such a nice, well-organized uh, team of resistance fighters. And I'm being totally genuine here. Uh, genuine here. Like they are, they are indeed carrying this whole mission here. Overwatch. Might as well take the shot. Okay, didn't hit, but we got two Overwatches, and each of them should be level. Very good. <laughs> okay, what a mission! Game gives us a bonus mission, one for free. No problems. Alright, we are landing. And look at that, four promotions. Rescued civilians, that's good. Uh, Alarium for data cash, that's great. Well, that's actually quite good. We got 42 supplies on top of it. That was a fantastic mission. And we got a bond for free. Let's see. So, Drank's here. Can soldier bond with a Aaron? Hell yeah, we're going to do that. Good, that is what we have been waiting for. First bond. Could get one with uh, Divert and Priyamvada as well. 
but like uh, I would wait with that for now. And I think that was it for um, at least for this mission. And I was afraid we would be having problems. No, no, no. We managed to stand our ground to defend that and if we play our cards right we might as well expand soon-ish. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move. Lost Swarm may occur in any mission. Okay. There are worse events than that. These findings will Oh so good. Plated armor. Finally. Finally, 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 predator armor. That's what we need. We could get resistance radio or magnetic weapons. Are we slotting in a resistance radio real quick to get that research bonus? I mean, we need it soon, right? We're okay, okay ish with the weapons so far, so might as well do that. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report what we definitely would want to do is get the armor upgraded. 60 alien alloys, okay, okay, okay. Um, that has that's number zero priority at this point. So, off to the black market. The month is ending soon, so let's purchase this month and potentially next month. Alien alloys. That's enough, I think. Costs a lot of intel. But it's worth it because we need that upgrade more than anything else. <laughs> Inappropriate Murphy is being shown because he's uh, the highest ranking soldier. Okay, what well, nice. Um, I think what we could use as well is one medkit. For now, just to stabilize and heal and a lot of other things. Immunity against poison. Uh, we're doing the school check thing. Experimental ammunition certainly could help us now that we have enough slots. Soon the power relay, which means we might need to sell something more. Outloader is good, not going to sell it. They're not interested in anything else. 114. We don't need another trooper corpse. I think 120 is enough. Ah, not sure. 120 enough. Let's get rid of the dead data cache for now. I know we can use it later and it gives a lot of intel and we will we still have two but our biggest constraint here is to research a lot and research fast so we don't have time for all of the nice um, for all of the nice gimmicks and somehow the game's just uh, not liking it nope um, let me restart it Okay, and back. Apparently the game didn't like that at all. I needed to resell a couple of uh, things on the black market and I think we're back. So we're down to 20 into, which means our expansion plans need to wait a bit. And uh, since it's soon the supply drop, I'm not going to start collecting. We're just letting it add up so that I can collect twice as much the next time. In the meantime, Let's take a good look at what else we can do. We're not going to go for a power relay. I would rather like the engineer to start excavating here. Two more days and the power relay is done. Alright, so we got 
reduced income, but finally we got increased power. That's what we were looking for. The additional research station will serve as well, because now we got even more uh, research capacity. So that's effectively having five scientists at this point, which is quite good. The moment that radio resist, uh, resistance radio is done, we can go on and move further. In the meantime, we're excavating. We do have a power problem. Theoretically speaking, what else could we uh, build? Training center could help us with upgrading the bonds. Infirmary could sort of help us, but it's not the most important uh, topic at the moment. Resistance comms could help us to expand further, but we're not even maxed out. So there is no immediate need to build anything. Of course, we can upgrade the power relay, right? And that would be another two power. Doing that training center costs three which is the one thing that i think would be helpful right now so that upgrade in, in itself wouldn't really work this is an additional resistance order slot that's not bad we could do something with that extra resistance order slot specifically around end of the month So do we have the do we have the funds for that? 80 well I think we do. Power relay upgraded. So that's as far as we can push it with a power relay. Avenger plotting new port. We would need to cut a bit deeper and sell even more. Easiest one is another data cache. Quickly going in here and let's upgrade this. Commander, we've pushed our current power systems to the limit. So that will give us another resistance order. And I'm trying to get all of the passive bone uh, bony that we can get. With those bony, we might be able to just yeah get those little extra bits here and there, bit of extra movement, maybe some uh, some other benefits uh, let's see what kind of uh, resistance orders we're getting but that's really all i can do at this point to make it less painful for us the rest now needs to come from from solid research so that was a kind of mixed month overall still trying to fight against uh, the hunter and for now, I think we're doing fine. If we are going to eliminate the alien trying to sabotage us. Uh, no, he's actually trying to increase his own strength. This here would be harsh. I think we would need to uh, counter it. And it's here in the second iteration, so it will go through if we're not uh, countering it. Alois, that is also a problem because we're notoriously under uh, under equipped and having not enough damage to go through the 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 standard here uh, the standard uh, um, advent is a problem one more facility might be an issue so there are a couple of issues to deal with uh, unfortunately templars uh, um, are not giving us i was wrong they are not giving us an a resistance order right away so we would need to fight find a way of raising this and i think without a sergeant it's impossible to even raise it it's fine to get the influence because you get uh, a couple of resistance orders for free but that's about it and of course you get missions but um, we will need to deal with the faction or with the base faction orders here that's rough for an entire run so jxp is worth nothing power isn't bad I think we're just going to get the incumbent benefits for this. Um, the the power so far is not relevant. Can't, we couldn't do anything with two power anyways. Time to get 
funds. Lots of them. And we are low on almost all of the resources. Perfect. That's good. That is really good. And we got 10 dodge on Roby. Assign a new covert action. Good. We can't locate this faction even. Uh, we can't do anything here. Can't do anything here. Well, plus one health. That's good. That's fantastic. And combat intelligence really doesn't do us any good. But plus one health isn't bad. We got another engineer. I think that's good. And that is, yeah, a sort of okay reward. Sort of okay. I think we're going for the engineer first. Uh, the health isn't bad either, though. So if I was to put... Never mind. Sneaky, sneaky, it requires a soldier. That's not even an option. What? Wait, why does it exactly require a soldier? Okay, so that is strange. Look, here it says required soldier, right? Okay, cool. Got it. But here it says required soldier and you get every single one of them. Is it because rookies can't get health bony? That would be so lame. Oh my gosh, would that be bad? <laughs> if that's really a limitation, that would be so bad. Because all of a sudden my entire like master plan of getting them more hit points is out of the window. Yeah, hacking plus four. Yay, that's fantastic. No, it's actually not fantastic. It is quite bad. Um, well... Whom are we putting onto this? I think we're just going with Roby again. And Roby and Diva eventually might bond together. Who knows? Let's go for it. I want the engineer. What a bummer. I was I was having that master plan of give them hit points whenever possible and now that's completely destroyed. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Modular sniper rifles, that's a no no. But we're getting magnetic weapons in eighteen days. There are worse uh, things than than pushing pushing uh, magnetic weapons out in during this month. Typically, you would already have them, but we got a little bit ahead of uh, ourselves with uh, the armor. I think that was the right decision. Our ballistic weapons with the plus one damage are still good. We're fine. Greater resolve. Lightly wounded soldiers can be sent into combat. Yeah, well, that's not bad, but it's also not great, right? Let's continue doing intel, really. That's m most of the stuff that we can do. And I'm hoping for some good missions. Okay, wonderful. We got a skull check. That's not bad because uh, that will give us an insta kill. Now, what else can we do? Uh, grenades, nice, but not that good without a grenade launcher. But I think experimental ammunition, specifically given that we do have seven cores. Oh, by the way, I forgot for one day to assign her. You can already see the comments, Saiken, you noob. Oh, lol, 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 lol. How could you not assign an engineer? I get it. I forgot it. Honest mistake. 
maximum power consumption reached. Are we going to go for another power delay? Mm, a power relay? No. Potentially we can just staff an engineer here if we so decide. And then we could build the training facility. Do we want to do that? Let me think that through. We could upgrade the bonds. Can't really do much. Can't really do much. Um, elsewise. So, I mean, workshop, no. Training center, sort of. Firmary. Not helpful. GTS currently not helpful. Resistance communications currently not helpful. So we're going with the training center. Maybe rookies can train skills? Potentially not. Pretty sure they can't. We will clear that soon-ish, but for now this is, well, this is an effectively better split for us. With all of uh, the things covered that we can do at the moment, might as well continue. Got a new facility. Okay. And with that, Avatar Project, of course, continues. And it's getting worse. Well, let's take a look at... This here is potentially what we would need, to, and, and there is a scientist, so it's definitely what we need. Neutralize field commander, and we got individual conceal on top of it. That's pretty good. Yeah, we're, we're going to do this mission here in New Mexico. I want the scientist really, really bad, uh, because with it, it might reduce uh, the research time for a few more days. But that brings us to the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoy the content, as always, leave a like and a comment down below and tell me just how um, messed up our situation is. <laughs> We're very much behind the curve. Uh, did you expect it to be that bad? Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in two days. Bye-bye.